Hi, I'm Julie Marin, and this is my ACE Media Studies Critical Reflection. This film represents women being the main focus of many crimes, like kidnapping. Throughout history, women have been treated very unfair. As shown in this film, these two teenage girls are being kidnapped. Along with this, this film has a deeper meaning, women's safety. The book that they are both reading is titled Women's Personal Safety. Throughout history, women have been treated very unfair. Kidnappings are usually targeted towards young males and females. This is ironic because while they are both reading the same book, their safety is put into danger by the antagonist. It stuck to most of the horror conventions like low-key lighting, close-ups, low angles, totes, unsettling soundtracks, and screams. This film also challenged conventions by not including religious iconography, flashbacks, and gore. Along with this, we challenged conventions with the rules of threes. We made the film about two main situations and two main girls. Along with this, there was not a main character. Instead, the story revolved around the book that they were both reading. My goal with this film is to distribute it to as many eyes as possible. Advertising my movie across social media platforms such as TikTok, Instagram, and Snapchat. From my experience, teens love these three social media apps, which would be a great way to get our films into their feed film would hit the theaters for about a month and make its way into streaming platforms like HBO Max, Prime Videos, and Hulu's. This is the goal at least. I would window it like this because ever since the pandemic hit, streaming platforms have had a great inc increase in an audience viewing. Because of this, having my film in theater for about a month would allow for some people to enjoy at the theaters. Then after, people would be able to enjoy it from their own home. Imagine Pro is a film distribution company that seems more doable. Since we don't have much money as a small production company, this is where we would be started off to hopefully make our way to big companies. My production skills improve greatly. As a cinematographer, I make sure to instruct everyone on my set to my liking. Making the shots exactly how I intended, along with this, doing more research on the type of conventions used for our genre allowed me to implement them into this film. As I filmed more and more, I started to notice more details in these shots like making sure props weren't there when it's supposed to and making sure not to get stuff that wasn't supposed to be in there. My second role in this group was to be an editor. Along with being a cinematographer, this made this job very easy. This is because I already knew what I, how I wanted to format and edit everything. This being said, during the process, I learned to take opinions from other teammates. This allowed me to see this film from different perspectives allowing for more creativity. Along with this, I use my iPhone to record the film since we did not have any major camera. For my editing, I use this editing app called CapCut on my phone, which allowed me to edit it very easy and on the go.